Thank you for joining me for our daily devotion where we open scripture, we interpret, and we pray. Let's continue to build this community of people who daily go to the scripture and whose lives are changed. We're headed back to Luke today. I know we're only a few days past Easter and we were kind of wandering through the Old Testament. I think it gave us a chance to refocus for just a little bit. But I love that this scripture today, Luke 24, 36 to 40, this is a time after Jesus' death, after his resurrection. These are some pretty incredible stories that we get just at the end of the Gospels. These last comments of Jesus' life and actions here on earth. Luke 24, 36 to 40. While they were talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. And he said to them, Why are you frightened? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and feet. See that it is I myself. Touch me and see, for a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. A short piece of scripture speaking of the recently resurrected Jesus and his disciples who were really still struggling to understand what was going on. It's easy for us to stay focused on Jesus, to stay focused on his hands and his feet. There's such beauty in that. But as I read this, I cannot help but picture myself in the place of the disciples. Far too often in my own life, when God is showing up in my life, when Jesus is acting, when the Holy Spirit is weaving its way through my life, my reaction is to be terrified, to be concerned, to not understand. And I don't very often take the time to look and see his hands and his feet. We confess, we believe that Jesus has been resurrected from the dead and lives in our lives. We act and share and tell stories about God living, breathing, acting in parts of our lives. And yet when it happens to us, we think it's a ghost. We assume the worst. We come up with all these awful situations. Friends, I invite you and I remind myself to look for God, expecting God to show up in our lives, expecting the Holy Spirit to act, to guide us, to reshape the path that we're on. Let us pray. Resurrected Jesus, we pray to you. We thank you for all of the ways that you act in our lives, that you show up. And we apologize for always starting out unbelieving and afraid. We need to hear your words, peace be with you each and every day, that we be, might be more likely to find you acting in our lives and step deeply and bravely into the new thing that you are doing in this world. God, we want to believe. Help our unbelief. Amen.